Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this week's video, I'm going to show how an eye feature created in Autodesk Inventor can be checked into and then placed directly from Autodesk Vault 2014. This is a new functionality, so let's go ahead and take a look. First, some changes to the default values for the eye feature. I'm going to go to Tools, Application Options, and on the Eye Features tab, I'll change the default locations for the eye feature root, the user root, and the sheet metal punches root. And I'm going to point those at a folder in my Vault workspace, and this is where I'm going to keep my eye features. And this will make sure that I'm placing consistently from my vaulted eye features. So I'll go ahead and accept those. Now that those settings are confirmed, I've got an eye feature that I have saved to that workspace. And to put it into Vault, all I have to do is go to my Vault tab, choose Check In, and I can go ahead and write in a comment and check it in just like any other part or assembly or so on out of Inventor. That's it. It's in now. It's that simple. Now to place my eye feature from Vault, I open up a part that needs an eye feature. I'll choose the Manage tab, and below Insert Eye Feature, I'll find Eye Feature from Vault. Selecting that, I can select a file from Vault, and I can use any of my Vault functions to find this file. I can search, browse, even use shortcuts. Finding my eye feature, I'll go ahead and open it, and from this point forward, it places just like an eye feature in previous releases. I can select planes, change angles and values, until I'm happy with the result, and I finish. And now the eye feature is placed into my part. So there it is. Some new functionality that lets you store your eye features in Vault, keep them in a central location without having to put them on a network share drive, or maintain copies on everyone's computer. So that's it for this video. Go ahead and look at this process and see what you think about it. Thank you very much, everyone.